Hi, I am Mahmoud Zali from 3D Polygon and I'm back with another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. Today I'm gonna talk about Composite Curve, a very useful tool in Curve Step. But before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Let's go! One of the applications of uh, Composite Curve is to combine sketches together, like here. Uh, I combine these two sketch uh, to make a single 3D curve. Uh, I can delete this composite curve so you can see the sketch 1 and 2. Now, I can use composite curve uh, to uh, combine these two sketch. I go to composite curve, select this and this one. Okay, I can see that I have a single. 3d curve i go to swept and select this uh, curve as my path so this is the easiest way you can uh, combine sketches together or in this case i can uh, use the edges of my 3d model so i go to curves and select edges Uh, yeah, okay. Can hide this cube. Now you can see I have a 3D curve, single 3D curve. Or here I can use the edges of my 3D model and also a sketch. So I can combine this sketch uh, with the edges of my 3D model. Okay, if I hide this, you can see that I have a, a composite curve. Sometimes a composite curve can help you to solve the problem. Like here I have a helix, I have a, a horizontal line which is this sketch. I have another horizontal line here, which is another sketch and by the way, I made the pierce uh, mate uh, to connect the lines to the helix and I have another sketch here uh, which is this uh, arcs now if I go to swap and I select these sketches and my helix as path I go to selection manager uh, I select my helix it's horizontal line and you can see that I have to select all the arcs and this line and if I select OK nothing happens uh, even if I change the number so you can see that it cannot make a sweep for me uh, I change the number and again uh, to solve this problem I exit my sweep and I go to composite curve I select this line, these arcs, this horizontal line and my helix. I click OK to make a composite curve. I can go uh, to Swap Boss and use this composite curve as the path of my sweep. Now you can see that SOLIDWORKS made this sweep for me and I solved the problem with composite curve. That's it. That's the end of this video. I hope you've learned something from this tutorial. Please don't forget to support me and subscribe my channel. Thank you.